All right, this is Will Steel with DIY Boat Life again, and here is the capacitor. I believe it's, I think, believe this one's 22 microfarads, but um, I think anything 20 or around 20 microfarads will work fine after some research about this generator. Um, so this is what I would replace. Now, I did, however, before these terminals, if you remember, were super, super rusty. I've since cleaned them off using a uh, grinding bit and a Dremel. And uh, seems to clean them up pretty well. And it was working uh, before. So we're going to check the capacitance with this. This actually has a capacitance setting on it. So we're going to switch this all the way over to on here. It's the going to be the setting for, you can see there's a little capacitance option on that. So we're going to switch this to, uh, to capacitance. And it is not on capacitance. We'll hit select. And there we go. Now we get uh, uh, farads. So we're set to do that, it's going to auto range. And now if I test this, in theory, see if I can test this while I hold it so you can see what I'm doing, but we're going to go here, carefully hold this. We're going to put, there's a couple holes I should be able to insert my multimeter probes into, so we're going to go here. There's one, okay, and then we'll just touch the other one to it, and you should see this thing should start auto ranging, and I think it'll come to about 19.8. Yeah, there you go, 19.78, 19.79. So we're about 19.78, so almost 20 microfarads. We're a little bit under what it says, I think is 22 on the original label. It's a GE. So in theory, uh, since it says plus or minus 13%, so let's say it's 22, 10% would be 2.2. So it could be plus or minus 2.2 microfarads. So this should be fine. Um, short that out so I feel a little safer. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down there and we're going to re-terminate the ends that it connects to here. Because it was so rusty, maybe that was the only problem. Um, I'll probably still end up replacing it, but I'm going to see if I just short term, since it appears to be testing within spec, uh, I will see how that works. So let me go get uh, the parts I need to be able to, to connect to that. Now, what I will say is whoever designed this thing uh, is a real bastard because the capacitor was way in there and there's stuff in the way i had to actually cut this metal piece out i'm going to end up just mounting the capacitor on the outside i don't see the point of keeping it way tucked inside under there it's so stupid but now we're going to take the tape off of these we're going to recrimp these and uh, put the capacitor back in and see how things fare after that so let's just uh try to get this in a good spot here where you can see what i'm doing there we go all right so um probably just want to take these completely off all right and we can just cut that piece off and we'll re-terminate it for both of these and we want to find the same a similar spade connector too it's going to also be important let's cut that off first okay you can see that was actually kind of melted so my guess is um you know that could have caused its own set of problems and we'll strip this down not a good spot to strip you about right there maybe a little we need to go to the next size down okay there we go all right that's good all right excellent if i get all the wire i'm not sure but i think there should be enough there okay there's one so we'll find the right size spade connector here for that catheter All right, well, these spade connectors are about the same size and they're different colors. I'm gonna use a different color for each one just so I can remember what's what. Um, let's put you on here. Okay. And crimp this down. It's, uh, let's see, red right there. Okay. Should be able to go right down to, I think here should be fine. So straighten that out. Okay, I'll crimp you down nice and tight. 
Okay, crimp twice, also down here too. Oh, that feels pretty good, actually. Okay, that should be good. That's one. Here's the second one. Okay. Oh, yeah, that one's all melted too. Look at those. Those are just, I think, just melting from heat because uh, they uh, didn't have a solid connection. It happens with salt water environment. Stuff really likes to uh, corrode really easily. Okay. So, I'm to get you here. All right, there we go. There's another one. Okay, now we'll use the blue. You guys do look like you're the same size, so I think this will be fine. So, okay, put you on and then crimp you. All right, okay. Oops. Ah, uh, yep, there we go. Okay. So I think I can use the same one for you. Okay. And I think I want to go like this, actually. Not sure if it matters that much, but let's make sure I get you. Really on here. Right. Okay. And there's two. All right. So now those are on there. Now what I can do is I can just take this and put this on here. I don't really, I can just leave it hanging down there. Let's pull this thing out. I was just a little, hold that up. Okay. Now, oops, there goes my camera. Okay, let's put you back up here. Okay. Filming in tight spaces is always a pain in the buttocks. All right, oh, whatever. I think that'll be fine. All right, just to see if I can make my manner, which. Okay, there we go. All right, now let's see if we can connect you. Um, pretty sure I already you always want to make sure that you uh, that, that the terminals are uh, that you've, you've basically drained the capacitor of any of its power it's always a good idea okay so there's gonna be one hopefully you'll get on there all right I might need to use a uh, use those pliers I actually don't have pliers right here but I think this will work there we go there's one Okay, yeah, we'll do two. I want to push you on a little better too here. Okay, there we go. All right, capacitor's in there. You should be good. So I'm going to put you in a manner which you're not going to get touched to anything that you shouldn't be touching. We'll just kind of put you maybe, I think that'll hold you sufficiently out of the way. All right. Now will come the moment of truth in a moment or two. Oh, you're going to be kidding, is that recording? Oh, yeah, I am recording. All right. I have now uh, put the capacitor back in. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any polarity I need to worry about um, after some research. I'm not 99% I'm sure that there's no polarity for, for that. Because uh, it's going to be AC current, obviously, uh, going through it anyway. So we're going to turn off our shore power. I start the generator and see what happens. And now nothing. Not even turning over. Why would that be? Hmm. Bad? I don't know. Let's go see what's going on. All right, some wire came loose that was on the starter, but now we should be good. So let's see what we get. All right, well, oh, hey, look at that. Lined right up, actually. So I'm just trying to regulate a little bit. Down there really quick. Oh. So we're we'll at 90 volts, which is definitely better. And if I put a load on, I'm betting that could be just a weak capacitor. So it's possible the capacitor is maybe not working as well as it should. So I put a load on, seems like it. To regulate a little better. It's still jumping around. 
Uh, that would indicate something in the voltage regulator circuit. So I still think maybe that capacitor is bad. It might be testing as being good, but it doesn't seem like it's very good to me, even if that's working. So you just see how this kind of jumps all over the place. So it might be that maybe the capacitor is just not working as effectively as it should. So I'm going to just replace it. Hopefully that'll solve the problem. I mean, it seems to be generating a little better with at least the terminals being connected um, without all that rust on there, but it's still, the voltage that you can see shouldn't be jumping around like that. It should be a lot more stable, and as it's clearly not, it only stabilizes after a little bit. It's still jumping around more than I would like. So we are not going to leave that on. We're going to turn this off. I don't want to take any chance of damaging the generator. So I'm going to disconnect. Let me turn off the AC first. That is now off. Okay. We're going to just... Uh... Oh, interesting. Just... Yeah, it looks like we're having some trouble regulating the voltage. Still, yeah, jumping around even more. Okay, so let's stop that. That can't be good. And let's get a new capacitor. We'll get that ordered, and we'll see how that how that works. Hopefully, it'll work a little better. And uh, yeah, so see you guys uh, when I get the capacitor in, and we'll do another test, and hopefully that will kind of kind of stabilize everything. Because um, I would imagine that's either the um, my guess is it's probably the voltage, uh, something to do with voltage regulation as it relates to the capacitor. So hopefully, even though the capacitor is testing fine, I'm um, released to test fine, but I think they can test fine with a multimeter uh, with a capacitance check, but still not be properly operating. So um, I'll look a little more into that, but it's easy and cheap to replace a capacitor. I'll just spend the 20, 30 bucks and get a good one. Uh, 20 microfarad, 440 volt capacitor should do just fine. So until I get that capacitor, I'll see you later. This is Will Steel with DI Boat Life. Talk later.